Hey everyone, thought we could do a more little outdoorsy kind of intimate, you know, fresh air, you know, a little taste of spring, huh? A little taste of spring, we need that. Um, got some more pickups here for you. I'm really trying to get caught up on these, and these are a mix of things I picked up in, in Florida. My hair is horrible. Picked up in Florida, things I picked up recently, a Salvation Army, you know, just a whole mess of things because why not? This is how I'm going to show you the collection. And I um, had an idea for the collection video to do another one where I have all the boxes just displayed out on the ping pong table so you can see just how many DVDs there are. Just keep in mind, on those ones that are uh, in the slim little cases, that's 130 DVDs basically per case. And those, those are ducks, evidently. So, without further ado, let's get into some of these cool pickups. Um, now this is, a, I believe this is not a 16.9, so it's uh, going to look pretty cruddy, but I, I wanted to have this Enemy of the State. Yeah, that works. Enemy of the State. And this one, I like this movie. This is a good Will Smith action thriller. Um, got a little bit of comedy, as, as most Will Smith movies do. And I uh, really like this one. Uh, uh, what's his name? Not Gene Hackman. Um, oh yeah, Gene Hackman is just great in this. He's just great in this. Um, guy knows what he's doing. Guy knows what he's talking about. And Jason Lee even makes an appearance from All Rats, you know. So, so this thing's got everything in it. But yeah, great action, action thriller. All right, you'll hear some wind occasionally. It was a little windy today. Not not bad though. At least not in my opinion. All right, next one. Um, this I just picked up actually from somebody's house yesterday. So these are in no order. There's just a ton of them laying out here. Um, and this I just picked up from somebody's house for a couple bucks. I think it was worth it. About a buck fifty maybe. Um, better off dead. And I never owned this. Never seen this. So this will be a really good movie to watch uh, with the wife or even alone. Just, you know, John Cusack. Young John Cusack. Um really really an old movie uh, but I like this one um, I wanted to see it I've seen little things of it including him with the uh, pig thing on here so you know just looks entertaining love me some John Cusack 80s baby 80s but I'm getting that media aren't I yeah alright uh, next one is one of them I got in Florida actually a couple of them one of them uh, here, the Banger Sisters, Susan Sarandon, Goldie Hawn, as a couple of women that got a little older and in their younger days uh, followed around bands, uh, rock bands, and uh, basically in the 60s, and now it's uh, two, two decades l later, over two decades later, and uh, one of them's still a rocker, you know, going around with the rockers, groupie, and the other one is you know, become a sensible housewife. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure hijinks ensue. I've heard good things about this from many people, so I figured I, I, I picked it up for about a little over a buck. There you go. Banger Sisters. All right. Next up we got some Goosebumps, the Headless Ghost. Uh, this is the case that, you know, the more generic of the cases where it's just got the haunted house on the cover, not the ones where the covers of the DVDs were very much like their um, book counterparts, actually. But Goosebumps, the Headless Ghost. Yeah, it's got three episodes, The Headless Ghost, Awesome Ants, and Teacher's Pet. So that's the three episodes that are actually included in the set. Not bad. I mean, you know, 64 minutes, so it's not the best thing for the buck, but I love me some goosebumps. Uh, got this actually from my mom. She actually owned two copies of this. She owned it on Blu-ray and I think on DVD, and that is Babes in Toyland. Um, I did not own this yet, so I like this movie. She thought it was a Christmas movie, and I was like, no, it's not a Christmas movie. It's, it's, it's like... Um, Kind of like a nursery rhymes movie more it's got mary Con contrary and tom piper and all this other stuff going on but yeah it, and it does have toys in it but not a christmas movie not a christmas movie mom uh let's see 
here's one I got found. I, I went by a library again. I found this actually just yesterday. Um, has Finn Wolfhard in it, Brooklyn Prince, and Mackenzie Davis. I don't know anything about it really, but it says keep an eye on the children. The turning. Um, looks like it might be my wife's type of horror movie. You know, thriller horror kind of thing. Uh, it does say in a thrilling adaptation of Henry James' landmark novel. So, the word thrilling is in there, so I'm hoping the turning is thrilling. That way she might want to watch it. Uh, another, uh, this was a Blu-ray they had for a buck at the library. And that is The Wedding Ringer. Did I get that right? The Wedding Ringer, yep. Alright, so this has in it Josh Gad, Kevin Hart, and... Kaylee Kuko Sweeting, yeah, but Blu-ray, and it's perfect, the disc is this, oh, it's so perfect, I love it, I want to have, you know, I got to come up with some way to describe them, like, perfection, you know, something like that, but, yeah, this, this looks like it could be funny, anyone seen, if you have seen any of this stuff that, you know, outside of Babes in Toyland, let me know, leave a comment, I'm sure somebody's seen Better Off Dead, this was a cool pickup. Now this was not a dollar, not two dollars, three dollars at a thrift store, but it was in mint shape as far as the discs and everything, and that is Punked, season one of Punked, the Ashton Kutcher one from the 90s, I believe, and uh, both discs were in there, so I have them both in their cases now, only eight episodes, and then some, you know, other, set, you know, scenes on the second one, they got some a scene with Ryan Pinkston and Young Executive and Al Shearer, but I don't need those. Um, what I'm going to do with the box, probably flatten it and just store it in a box somewhere. It's got a young Dax Shepard right there. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Punked! Or I should be like Ash and Kutcher, right? And be like, yo people man, here we are, we're going to punk these people. Pow, pow, pow. Isn't that what he did all the time? He got like so over the top about it. I don't know. Now, this is a movie that I'm hoping isn't as long as this looks like it might be. And that is 127 hours. I hope it's not that long. And I don't know if I want to watch a 127 hour long movie. But, hey. No, I actually, I know what this is about. Wanted to see this for a long time, actually. You know, I think this was uh, 50 cents or a dollar. But not that much really wanted to see this so this is a good one to grab and uh and own i'll let you know if this is any good um here's a movie i picked up solely based on the fact that one actor is in it that i like ethan embry if you're out there ethan still love you um ethan embry's in this it's called cheap thrills what doesn't kill you makes you richer and Ethan Embry, Pat Healy, Sarah Paxton, and David Kochner. I hope they got that right. Kochner? Kochner? Maybe Kochner. Um, there it is. Cheap Thrills. It's actually got a lot of stuff in this. It's a really um, nicely put together DVD. The cover is actually reversible, as well as the book in it was pretty pretty thick. It had a little black and white book that has some info in here in it, um, some photos nice release i got that for i think it may have been only a dollar at, at a dollar general down by my parents house so this was a florida find maybe that's what we should call them florida find you know but how many of those would i have right all right a couple more here and this is uh akira akira knightley mickey rourke and edgar ramirez in a movie that Hubert Roper gave two thumbs up, I tell ya. I, I love those guys. And pulses will pound. But it has an ellipse in front and after it, which usually means they said something before it. They may have said, you know, my, my, my headache, I had a headache, and it felt like the pulses will pound every time I swallowed or something. So it might not be a good thing, but we'll go with it. And this is a... By acclaimed filmmaker Tony Scott, Man on Fire. I don't know much about it, but Domino. Not the rally kind, just Domino. So, I'll let you know on this one too, because I, I don't know. I don't know, but 
it looked interesting enough for a buck. Um, that I think that was a Florida find domino. Feels like it was. Um, next one here, um, it's a Jackie Chan movie with some jaw-dropping action. According to Media Circus, and a solid action pick, according to Media Circus. Wait, what? You can't put two quotes from the same people. That's that's cheating. Anyway, Jackie Chan, the accidental spy. This was a, a buck. This that thrift store they found punked at and, and stuff. Tons of dollar DVDs and they were in such nice condition. Such nice condition. Cases and everything. Alright, and maybe we'll stop here with my favorite find of the trip. And it's because I've wanted to own this for a long time. Not enough to pay, you know, a lot of money for it, but enough to buy it when I saw it for a dollar-ish. A dollar-ish. Um, and that is a sequel to a movie that I think is great. It's a story of a lovely lady who is bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold like their mother the youngest one and curl dan, dan, dan. here's a story of a man named brady who was bringing up three was it three boys of his own yeah three boys of his own they were four men living all together but they were all alone till the one day when the lady met this fellow and they knew that it was much more than a hunch. Okay, anyway. Um, like the video, please, if you liked it. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want more of this great content and more of my lovely singing voice. And, um, you know, leave some comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you want to see more of. Um, I got a cool idea for a video coming up of uh, I'm gonna, my top five wants or five DVDs I'd like to own. They're not like I would like spend fifty dollars on it, but if I saw it for you know even up even three bucks at Goodwill, I'd probably buy it. So you know we'll call them call them the five dollar five club, the five for five dollars each club. I don't know. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave comments, hit the bell, and get a pizza. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Got the media physical i got the physical media i gotta get my song going again i'm starting to forget it bye